Dear Champion Vending Company, I put five quarters in your machine and proceeded to push B2, which should have given me peanut M&Ms. Regrettably, it did not. I found this upsetting as I was very hungry, and also my wife had died 10 minutes earlier. <laughs> I'm not saying that was your fault. I just want to be thorough. I read that Brian came up with this character because he sold a script early on in his career and then had a tough time selling something after that. So as prolific filmmakers yourself, is that something you guys ever discussed together? We haven't really ever talked no. about that, no. but um, because we were busy working with each other. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, it definitely does, I think, do something particularly in terms of like a movie like this, a story about somebody having to sort of stop, face yourself, see where you are, where you want to go career-wise, or be it, you know, in your life when you're not, oftentimes work, whatever it may be, if you're lucky enough to have it, um, gives you, fills in, fills a certain hole. So, um, but in terms of the, the struggle of selling a script, no actor will really understand that, but I will say in terms of auditioning, you know, there's a very similar process in that for an actor where you audition and audition and audition and you are rejected over and over and over again. That is a, a part of, um, at least in our business, that is definitely a part of our business yeah. all the time. Yeah. And when that happens to you, do, you, do you break things or do you have another <laughs> therapeutic way to get you to the next thing? No, I'm thing? more masochistic. <laughs> I, I, you get used to it. I mean, I think you get into a business like this in a, for particular reasons, usually unconscious. And I, there's probably more of a masochistic side to to it than and getting upset, you know. Kind of, there's probably a part of every every artist that likes it somewhere, maybe, somewhere. I, I think so, yeah. Maybe. But uh, but I got I got to break some stuff, which is yeah, that's said. true. I man, loved man. it. So <laughs> yes, I did. I did break. Sean I do Mark break is a breaker. Yeah. <laughs> What's the worst thing you guys have ever broken? The heart definitely sucks when I, that's been broken of mine. My heart when it's broken. That was a much more thoughtful answer than I thought I was going to get. Oh, really? Do I not seem thoughtful? Well, no. It's just <laughs> from my perspective, I'm like, what's the last time I maybe put my phone down on the table a little oh, too hard? right. Well, yeah, that was a bummer. I dropped my phone, and it's broken. Yeah, my, oh. my phone screen is broken. But that didn't bum me out too much, you know? I don't have my phone. But, uh, yeah, it's shattered, you know? Yeah. I'm going to go with his answer. The heart, yeah. yeah that's the... How much did uh, the script change from the point that it was on the blacklist and I, th I think it was 2007? Uh, it, did, it, did, it didn't change a lot. Uh, well, it's, it's always the same process. You go into production, you meet the actors, you start to, you know, you want to possess, you know, you want to you you, you make it yours as a filmmaker, uh, respect the content, but there's something to serve there and then and then, uh, and then you have the, con the the limitation of of the money, the shooting, and then, and then it evolves, and it evolves in the cutting room and during the shoot also, and in the cutting room. But it's very, very close to what Brian had in mind, to what Brian wrote. And uh, the, the the difference, the main difference, is with Julia. Julia was written as a character that was there in the first scene, and that's it. You only heard her, actually. Yeah. Right. You only heard. You her. only heard her. You've never seen her, but with a picture at the end, and then, uh, I, and then, and then it became something else. When 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 I first met the girl in an auditioning room, I went to Brian and said, "We gotta, we gotta see this girl. There's something so emotional about her. So this is a concept that we could try in the cutting room. But let's add all these moments with Julia and Davis, and let's see if we're gonna keep them or not. If we're gonna stick to your concept, to the script, or if we're gonna." Evolved, and he went. All right, yeah, let's let's do this. And started to write some scenes, and we were adlibbing some moments with her, trying some stuff here and there, calling her at the last minute. I mean, all this 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 uh, this uh, 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 lizard, the the, the reptile yeah. that thing. Totally, it, it happened on the set. Huh? It wasn't was written. Here. It happened on the set, and then they became like fans of this YouTube video. Who discovered yeah. it? How's it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, my my, my sons. Son, right? My yeah. sons introduced me to that video. Right? That's such a unique little touch that I feel like no one would ever think of, but there it is, and it's yeah. present and throughout. It's in the film and he, the, the the gecko likes seashells and seahorses, and that was her thing, and that was their thing. They met when they saw that video in a party, and then uh, and then we we just started to ad lib with this and to add her into the story, and 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 we were going into his mind also. The trick was to. 
tell his story through his point of view. And, and then on page 30, there's another character, and we use her and her point of view to tell the story, too. But what he sees is what we see. What he hears is what we hear. What he thinks, uh, all these letters, what he makes him think of, all these fantasies that he have at the airport with the security guard. And we're, we're, we're all witnessing this. We're in his head. So therefore, the, the, the ghost of this girl was a nice device to allow the audience to even go deeper into his head. Pulls the whole character journey together. Yeah. How was it for you working with Jean-Marc? Because I know he has a pretty unique style of shooting. Yeah, it was wonderful. I mean, I, 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 <laughs> it really was. I mean, to me, like, I got, I went to set. We we're shooting in my hometown, which is really nice. But also, I get to set, no makeup, you put on your wardrobe, and you're shooting 15 minutes later. You know, I think there's a lot of, generally a lot of preciousness to the preparation in terms of, you know, the day and setting up for lighting and things kind of move at a snail's pace on movie set with him. You're, you could be done in eight hours, you know, because he's, there is no makeup, there is no lighting in the formal sense of the word, but it is beautiful and all handheld. So he's coming in, he's running and getting a close up, he's running out getting a wide shot for one take and then running back in and getting a close up. And for me, it's so freeing because I like the idea that everything is of equal, everything sort of has an equality to it, as opposed to now is your close up ready to deliver. I'm much more of a let's explore the scene, like, and whatever happens, happens in it. And that's sort of how he approaches yeah. the whole process. That's so refreshing. But, yeah. but, but, but you know, it's not a thing about ego, it's a thing about capturing what's strong and what's powerful, mm. which is this story. And, 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 and the emotion that it conveys and with these actors. And then, you, 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 and then I, I find it so heavy, the system, how it works with the tracks, and it's so heavy, and all the people, and the lights, and the flags, and you block the light, and you reflect it. Can we get rid of this? Hmm. Can we just shoot 360 degrees? And can you get out, crew? <laughs> and we ask the crew to get out, and then we shoot 360 degrees, and then you realize that it's possible, and then we do it, and we hardly cut, we shoot for 30 minutes, doing it over and over and trying it, and then whoops, he tries something else. I go, really, he goes there, and then it, I react to this, and he gives me, so, so it's very, it's a nice space of freedom that we allow yeah. ourselves to, and always to serve the thing, which is the, the story. <laughs> Put it all back together. Crazy, oh, yeah.